Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on sevoflurane. Introduction. Sevoflurane is synthesized in 1968, and the year of first clinical use is 1971. It is replacing isoflurane on most anesthetic machines. As a comparison, features of the ideal inhalational anesthetic agent includes it has a pleasant odor, it is non-irritant to the respiratory tract, it has a pleasant and rapid induction of anesthesia, low blood gas solubility, rapid recovery from anesthesia, stable in storage, does not interact with materials of anesthetic circuits or soda lime, non-flammable, non-explosive, has analgesic effects, provides muscle relaxation, it is potent, it allows use of high inspired oxygen concentrations, it is not metabolized and eliminated completely and rapidly from the lungs. It is non-toxic, does not provoke allergy, has minimal cardiorespiratory depression, no drug interactions, inert, easy to administer using standard vaporizers, non-epileptogenic and does not raise intracranial pressure. Physical Chemical Characteristics of Sevoflurane It is a highly fluorinated hydrocarbon with a simple formula of C4H3F7O, also known as fluoromethyl 222 trifluoro one ethyl ether. It is non-flammable and has a pleasant smell, a boiling point of 59 degrees Celsius. It is 7.5 times heavier than air. It has a molecular weight of 200. Saturated vapor pressure is 21 kPa or 160 mmHg at 20 Celsius. Blood gas partition coefficient is 0 0.69. It is half that of isoflurane, which has a blood gas partition coefficient of 1.43. It is closer to desflurane, 0 0.42, and nitrous oxide, 0 0.44. Oil gas partition coefficient is 53. MAC value of sevoflurane in adults is 1.7 to 2% in oxygen, 0.66% in 60% nitrous oxide. In children, the MAC value is 2.6% in oxygen and 2.0% in nitrous oxide. In neonates, it can be up to 3.3% in oxygen and in the elderly, it is 1.48% in oxygen. Metabolism is 3 to 5%. It is chemically stable, non corrosive. It is stored in amber colored bottles as a colorless liquid with no additives or preservatives. It undergoes hydrolysis with water or soda lime. Mechanism of action The site of action is at the pre and post synaptic membrane, at axons and synapses at the central neuraxial level. The volatile anesthetic agents are potent agonists at the GABA-A receptors and glycine receptors. Inhibition of the function of these postsynaptic ligand-gated ion channels result in hyperpolarization of the synaptic membrane by increasing chloride conductance and thus neuronal discharge is inhibited. Volatile anesthetic agents inhibit ion channel activity by being presynaptic antagonists at serotoninergic receptors, glutaminergic receptors, and nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. At the spinal cord level, volatile anesthetic agents diminish nociceptive efferents ascending to the thalamocortical tracts. At the supraspinal level, hypnosis occurs due to influences of volatile anesthetic agents at the thalamus and reticular formation in the midbrain. Pharmacokinetics Uptake and distribution of sevoflurane Having a blood gas partition coefficient of 0 0.69, sevoflurane has a fast rate of equilibration between alveolar and inspired concentration. The rate of equilibration is faster than isoflurane but slower than desflurane. It is non-irritant to upper airways and helps with increasing the rate of inhalational induction. The rate of recovery is slower than desflurane anesthesia as sevoflurane has higher partition coefficients 
in vessel-rich tissues, muscles, and fat than corresponding values for desflurane. Metabolism 5% of absorbed dose of sevoflurane is metabolized in the liver to hexafluoroisopropanolol and inorganic fluoride ions. Hexafluoroisopropanolol is the major breakdown product. It is an organic fluoride molecule and it is excreted in the urine as a glucuronide conjugate. It is potentially hepatotoxic. Conjugation of hexafluoroisopropanolol is so rapid that clinically significant liver damage is highly unlikely. Inorganic fluoride ion mean peak fluoride ion concentrations after 60 minutes of sevoflurane anesthesia at 1 MAC is 22 micromole per liter. It is higher than that after an equivalent dose of isoflurane. Higher levels of fluoride has never been reported even in long surgeries and it is clinically insignificant. The metabolism of sevoflurane is catalyzed by the 2E1 isoform of cytochrome P450 which is induced by phenobarbital, isoniazide, and ethanol and inhibited by disulfiram. Sevoflurane is not degraded to antigenic trifluoroacetic acid protein complexes as with the metabolism of halothin. 95% of sevoflurane is eliminated unchanged from the lungs. Cardioprotection Sevoflurane has cardioprotective effects. Ischemic preconditioning is a protective mechanism where tissues are better able to tolerate ischemic, hypoxic, or metabolic insults that injure but do not kill the cells if it is previously experienced by that tissue. For example, a patient with repeated angina pectoris secondary to myocardial ischemia experiences less ventricular damage after an acute myocardial infarction compared to a symptom-free patient with sudden coronary artery occlusion. The intracellular signaling pathways underlying ischemic preconditioning is highly complex and involves partially hypothetical theories and it is incompletely understood. Changes in gene expression is a core mechanism in ischemic preconditioning. Genes involved are those associated with cellular stress. The intracellular signaling cascade involves second messenger reactions catalyzed by kinases and nitric oxide synthetase. Modulation of myocardial mitochondrial activity occurs via activation of ATP-sensitive potassium channels and mitochondrial permeability transition pore. These are also found abundantly in cerebral tissues. ATP-sensitive potassium channels are found at nuclear, mitochondrial, and sarcolemmal membranes of cardiac myocytes. The final outcome is a decrease in intracellular calcium, decreased myocardial contractility, decreased fragmentation of DNA, and decreased myocyte apoptosis. Halogenated inhalational anesthetics and opioids seem to trigger an analogous process to ischemic preconditioning described as anesthetic preconditioning. The effect is initiated at MAC values as low as 0.25. Anesthetic preconditioning is maximal at MAC 1.0 to 1.5. The mechanism of anesthetic preconditioning, volatile anesthetic agents, prime signaling pathways that occur in ischemic preconditioning, resulting in alterations in gene expression and protein synthesis. Pharmacodynamics Effects of sevoflurane on the central nervous system Sevoflurane is a hypnotic agent and it is used for induction and maintenance of general anesthesia. There is smooth and extremely rapid induction and recovery. 4-8% to concentration produces anesthesia within a few vital capacity breaths. Sevoflurane is the agent of choice for inhalational induction in pediatrics or difficult airway. There is a higher risk of emergence agitation compared to isoflurane. It has anticonvulsant, however poor analgesic properties. Sevoflurane is a vasodilator and increases cerebral blood flow. Autoregulation of cerebral blood flow is preserved in patients with cerebrovascular disease. 
Sevoflurane uncouples the relationship between cerebral blood flow and PaCO2. There is a dose-dependent decrease in cerebral perfusion pressure due to the cardiodepressant effects of sevoflurane. Effects on intracranial pressure Sevoflurane is a vasodilator that increases cerebral blood flow. However, ICP is minimally affected at MAC values of less than 1 in patients with normal ICP. However, ICP can increase at high inspired concentrations of sevoflurane. Neuroprotection Sevoflurane provides a degree of neuroprotection via a process analogous to ischemic preconditioning. There is decrease in cerebral metabolic rate and oxygen consumption. 50% reduction of CMRO2 occurs at MAC of 2. Effects on EEG EEG changes are dose dependent. When MAC is less than 1, sevoflurane and other volatile agents decrease the power in the alpha range, which is 8 to 15 Hz, and increase the power at the beta range, at 16 to 30 Hz. When MAC values increase from 1 to 2, the power decreases at alpha and beta range, and the power increases at the theta, 4 to 7 Hz, and the delta, less than 3 Hz, range. When MAC is more than 2, all volatile agents will induce EEG burst suppression. Sevoflurane does not cause excitatory effects on EEG. Effects on the respiratory system There is decrease in alveolar ventilation, there is decrease in tidal volume, and increased respiratory frequency. Regarding the mechanism of ventilatory depression, there is central depression of medullary respiratory neurons and depression of diaphragmatic function and contractility. PaCO2 increases as respiratory frequency increases and dead space ventilation increases. There is decrease in sensitivity of chemoreceptors to PaCO2. There is decrease in bronchial tone. Sevoflurane is a bronchodilator. Sevoflurane does not irritate the airway. There is very low incidence of cough, laryngospasm, breath holding, and it is ideal for inhalational induction. Effects on the cardiovascular system There is decrease in mean arterial pressure. Sevoflurane is a vasodilator and causes decrease in systemic vascular resistance. Sevoflurane has myocardial depressant effects. Cardiac output decreases, however, it is relatively well maintained over the normal anesthetic maintenance doses. There is decrease in heart rate and decrease in myocardial oxygen consumption. Sevoflurane is a less potent coronary arteriolar dilator compared to isoflurane. It does not appear to cause coronary steel. Sevoflurane is minimally arrhythmogenic. It may prolong the QT interval and it is best avoided in patients with congenital or acquired long QT syndrome. There is cardioprotective effects from sevoflurane analogous to ischemic preconditioning. Nausea and vomiting occurs in 25% of cases undergoing sevoflurane anesthesia. There is dose-dependent decrease in hepatic blood flow, secondary to decrease in mean arterial pressure. Sevoflurane has negligible effects on renal physiology. Renal blood flow is well preserved. Fluoride ions produced from metabolism of sevoflurane can rise up to 50 micromoles per liter. It increases as the duration of exposure to sevoflurane increases. However, this is not clinically significant. Sevoflurane is not considered to be nephrotoxic. It is rapidly eliminated from the body. The total amount of drug available for in vivo metabolism is very, very low. Compound A Sevoflurane reacts with soda lime and barium lime to produce compounds A, B, C, D, E, and G at 65 degrees Celsius. Sevoflurane reacts with strong monovalent hydroxide bases in these carbon dioxide absorbers. Only compound A, trifluoromethylvinyl ether, has been shown to have any toxicity. Compound A is degraded into a nephrotoxic metabolite, which has been shown to cause renal damage in rats, but never in humans, as there are quantitative differences in rodent enzyme systems compared to humans. Production of compound A is more likely at higher temperatures, higher concentrations of sevoflurane, use of baralime, and low gas flow. Sevoflurane causes a dose-dependent reduction in uterine tone. 
Sevoflurane is a trigger for malignant hyperpyrexia. Sevoflurane potentiates non-depolarizing muscle relaxants to a similar extent to isoflurane. There is decrease in intraocular pressure. As a summary, the advantages of sevoflurane include smooth fast induction, rapid recovery, ease of use requiring conventional vaporizers. These advantages include production of potentially toxic metabolites in the body, which is more of a theoretical problem, instability with carbon dioxide absorbers, relative expense compared to isoflurane. These are my references. Thank you.